Imagine learning a skill in 2024 that can literally turn a few sentences into a cash printing or time saving machine. Sounds like a superpower, right? Well, it's called Problem Engineering. It's one of the most powerful tools you could add to your arsenal this year. Mastering it means you can generate immense value in just a few carefully crafted sentences and words. No exaggeration here. If you stick with me just for 17 minutes, I'm not only going to break down this life changing skill, but also I will teach you what it is how to use it and how to get the most out of it using industry proven frameworks. And guess what? You do not need a single line of code to get started in this. You don't even need to have a lot of knowledge about AI as such to use this properly and effectively. Before we get into all of that, a little bit about me. Hi, my name is Misha Emanuel, and I've been in the AI slash software development and engineering space for the last six years. Throughout my experience and career, I've been helping out multiple businesses implement their AI strategy, consult them on various AI topics and develop customized solutions for them. The common problem that I found in this space is that a lot of people are almost afraid and scared of that this AI will take your jobs. Spoiler alert, it won't. I'll take the jobs of the people that don't know how to use this effectively. So my job here is essentially and effectively to bridge the knowledge gap between AI being just another buzzword and an effective tool that you can use in your day-to-day -day life to boost productivity, save you some time, save you some money, all that nice and good stuff. In essence, my job here is to teach you guys how to use this tool. So what exactly is prompt engineering? Let's break it down simply. It is essentially the art of telling the AI what to do in its simplest form. Whether it's asking ChatGPT a very simple question or command or giving it a sale set of detailed instructions, it is essentially the magic that brings your AI to life. The right prompt can turn a very complex task into a very simple AI command. You've probably toyed around with ChatGPT already where you draw a little text box you put in and ask it some questions. That is essentially your prompt. The better your prompt is, the more of a good and tailored response your AI will give you. The real power of AI goes beyond just a conversation with ChatGPT. Now, why is prompt engineering such a big buzzword or big topic in this uh, day and age? It all essentially boils down to garbage in versus garbage out. As you go through this YouTube channel, there are going to be main, many topics that we'll cover, but essentially I want you to guys have a basic understanding that AI depends on two things, the quality of your data and the quality of your product. If you have a general grasp on that these two play the most important and effective part in how your AI is constructed and how it's used, you'll be ahead of like 90% of people that don't know anything about the space. Why is prompt engineering such a big deal? Essentially, it boils down to garbage in versus garbage out, okay? AI is usually trained on a vast ocean of data and your ability to prompt well is essentially to try and extract the treasure in the ocean from this data that's it's trained on. Your ability to craft precise, detailed oriented prompts is essentially the key to you getting the most and the best out of your ChatGPT or whatever other model you use. The adjustments and how you phrase your prompts can lead to very vast and different outcomes. So the big question is, how can you craft the best prompts that deliver the best results? This is what this video is about today. We'll dive into various industry leading frameworks that are guaranteed to help you become a master at prompt engineering, ensuring that you can tackle any task at hand when it comes to AI. Throughout this video, I will give you three of the industry leading frameworks, explain what they are, how to use them, the template, as well as we'll do a live kind of walkthrough slash, slash example, giving you guys a really good understanding of how it works. So with that being said, let's begin. There are many types of prompt engineering frameworks, but are the most useful ones that I found for beginners are these three. And down, down the line, if you like, I will provide more. Uh, just give me a, let me know in the comments if you, if you like this type of content. So the first one is role, instruction, set, steps, end goal, and narrowing, also known as the risen framework. The second one we're going to do is roads, which is role, objective, details, example, and sense check. And lastly, we'll do GOPA, which is goal, objective, pros and cons, and actions. So let's begin. Role, instruction, steps, end goal, and narrowing. The risen framework provides a structured approach to dissect complex or constrained tasks, such as SEO blog posts, marketing plan structures, uh, development, research projects, and etc., into actionable components for better execution and focus. So let's break down the actual each part of this. So role. This is to be placed at the start of the problem. It tells the AI to act as a type of person or role, e.g., to act as a professional copywriter or an SEO optimizer. Instructions. Clarify what you want the AI to do, provide a clear directive. Steps, these are the instructions or directions you give. It's like a recipe for the AI to follow. The cleaner and more structured your steps are, the better the outcome. End goal, what do you want at the end? It's the goal or the outcome you're aiming for with your prompt. Clear expectations lead to more targeted and useful AI responses. Lastly, 
narrowing. Set any constraints or limitations tailored to the response to your specific needs. So when should you use it or when is this framework the most optimal, if you will? So the risen framework shines in scenarios that benefit from detailed planning and execution, such as project management, content creation, and strategic planning. Its structured nature makes it ideal for tasks requiring a clear step-by-step -step approach to achieve specific goals. And as always, I will have uh, the prompt template here that you guys can steal, take a screenshot of, copy and paste, or just let me know and I'll send it over to you directly. So you have the role, so enter the role you want the AI to take, instructions, insert the task you want the AI to complete, steps, insert the number, the list of steps to follow, end goal, insert the goal of the output, and narrowing, enter the constraints. And to give a, an example, so say you're a digital creator who wants to build a new online course, or you're a coach or some kind of person that wants even a plan, create a plan for your students. This is an example where we would use it. So role, you're an expert digital course builder, and you're an expert digital course builder and an outline academic tutor who has sold millions in online courses and now wants to build a new course online as part of your new service offering. As part of your new service offering, please give me a list of everything important that I should include in my, my AI course and tell me all the different methods of growth that I can implement to maximize revenue. Uh, steps to complete this task are first start by covering all the things that any digital course would include, then proceed by giving your thoughts on what AI courses should include, end with covering the best growth marketing tactics and strategies for digital courses, end goal. So provide an end goal uh, is to give me a concise list of everything that I should include within the course, as well as give me ideas on how I can maximize revenue from the course. And then lastly, narrow it down. So maximize the 500 words, avoid technical jargon and make it actionable and clear. So let's just copy this prompt here. We can go straight uh, to ChatGPT and we'll paste it in here. Paste it in here. And let's see what it gives us. Isn't that such good detail? It's amazing. Like if you were just to put this randomly into, um, say I'm a tutor, it would not be nowhere near as detailed as this, you know? So you could see how much detail it goes into when it comes to actually creating the course, you know? Growth marketing tactics, specific components, essential components for any digital course and like niching down as well. So as you can see, it provides really in-depth ways for you to essentially create your course. And this is a really good outline for you to do. I and mean, obviously you can query it further down to make sure it's uh, more in line with what you want, but essentially this is how it works, you know? So I, get, I delivered this to a private class before. So this is just some other, ex an, an old course or an old, Role objective detail example and sense check. Adopting the roles methodology enhances the precision and depth of the AI interaction, providing a comprehensive guide for prompt creation. Role clarifies the AI's position or function in relation to the prompt, setting the stage for the interaction. Objective defines the ultimate goal of the AI to, is set to achieve, directing its focus and efforts. Details offering specific information or criteria to guide the AI's response, ensuring it's aligned with the prompt's uh, requirements. Examples provide illustrative scenarios or outcomes to help the AI understand the context and expectations. SenseCheck encourages a final review of the AI's response to ensure it accurately meets the prompt's objectives and details. You'll see a common kind of theme between these three frameworks, and I deliberately did that just because I wanted to give you guys kind of an overview of all the kind of most popular frameworks and they're similar in terms of the use case but they're slightly tweaked for more optimal use cases if that makes sense so the risen framework might be slightly better for seo blog posts while this might be slightly better for uh another use case road is particularly suited for projects requiring a high degree of clarity such as the educational cost uh, content customer service protocols, creative writing, marketing content creation, and any tasks where the style and the tone of the output are crucial. Its structured approach ensures that AI-generated content meets precise standards and objectives. And as always, the prompt template here. So insert the role you want the AI to take, define the objective and goal, enter specific details of what you want, provide an example of what you mean, sense checker, review the AI logic, you know? So this is just a better illustration of the roads framework. And again, if you want to screenshot this, to, I don't know, keep it or whatever the case is. If you want me to send it to you as well, just, just comment it or follow me on Instagram and I will uh, give it to you then. <laughs> but yeah, this is like a neat detail uh, aspect of it. So let's do another kind of example. So this rose is maybe better for when it comes to customer service, whereas the other one might be better for SEO blog posts, you know? 
So say your customer service assistant SLP for new hires. So say you're bringing on some new people to work in your business. You want to give them a kind of a guide on how to handle customer queries, you know? So role as a trainer, develop a comprehensive customer service guide, equip new hires, effective communication, problem solving skills, details, include common customer scenarios, response templates, and escalation procedures. Examples, for instance, how to handle product or return a billing dispute. Sense check, review the module to ensure it covers all necessary topics and is understandable for someone with no prior experience. So again, as well, do a live, quick live demo of this. So if we were to go back into ChatGPT, try this again, boom, post it, and let's see what we get. So as always, let's go into actually testing it out. So let's, for example, you're a digital creator who wants to build a new course structure. So Roll, well, you're an expert digital course builder and an online academic tutor who has sold millions in online courses and now wants to build a new course online as part of your new service offer. Instruction, please give me a list of everything important that I should include in my AI course and tell me all the different methods of growth that I can implement to maximize revenue. Uh, steps to complete the task. So first start by covering all of the ta all the things that any digital course should include. Then proceed by giving your thoughts on what AI course should include. End with covering the best growth marketing tactics and strategies for building a digital course. End goal. The goal here is to give me a concise list of everything that I should include within the course, as well as give me ideas on how I can maximize revenue from said course, you know? Narrowing it down, so maximum of, we'll say 500 words, you know? And I avoid technical jargon, make it actionable and make it clear, you know? So this is an example that I gave from a past class, but let's do it live. So if we were to go into ChatGPT and paste this prompt in, let's see what it will give us. Yeah, so as you can see, it goes into a lot more detail. So it, it gives me the core components of any digital course. Then it'll give me like the essential elements for my niche specific course, you know? Growth marketing tactical strategies. Again, perfect. So say if you were a fitness creator and you wanted to create uh, some kind of fitness program for your potential prospects, you can say something along those lines, you know? Say for example, I'm a gym coach and create me a course for helping people achieve their dream physique. What should include in the like and along those lines, you know. So, with that being said, let's move on to the second. So, now let's give provide an example. We're using the roads framework. So, example: customer service assistance SOP for new hires. So, you want to create a new kind of standard operating procedure for your new hires for them to use essentially. Role. As a trainer, develop a comprehensive customer service guide. Objective, equip new hires with effective communication and problem solving skills. Details, include cost, uh, common customer scenarios, response templates and escalation procedures. Example, for instance, how to handle product return or billing dispute. Sense check, review the module and ensure it covers all necessary topics and is understandable for someone with no prior experience. Very simple, isn't it? And again, because you want to essentially make this as easy as possible for you and the person you're going to give this to. So let's do a quick, again, copy and paste. And again, all of these uh, templates will be given to you. If you just let me know and I'll send it over to you personally. So as you can see, comprehensive customer service guide, introduction, purpose, key objectives, fundamentals of customer service, very, very in detail very effective and that's how something you can just so say you just copy and paste this throw it into word, word doc put your branding on it hand it out to your employees as you can see customer customer common customer scenarios how to handle the product dispute and again you can tailor this towards your kind of business and any other kind of industry practices that you have but as you can see it goes into a lot of just it's still going you know <laughs> so as you can see the it's really really effective you know? so with that being said let's move on to the last one which is gopa so GOPA, Goal, Object, Options, pro, Pros and Cons and Actions. The GOPA framework provides a structured methodology for setting clear objectives, exploring various strategies, evaluating their potential impacts and implementing actionable steps. This comprehensive framework aids individuals and organizations in making informed decisions, fostering a strategic mindset and achieving desired outcomes with greater precision and effectiveness. Goals, clearly define the objectives and desired outcomes um, to ensure alignment and focus throughout the process. And again, as the previous one, they are similar in terms of the frameworks and use cases, but tweaked for optimal kind of usage. So goals, we have options, identify and list all possible strategies or courses of action that can be taken to achieve the set goal. Pros and cons, evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of each option to assess the viability and potential impact. Actions, develop a concrete plan of action 
on the evaluation, detailing the steps necessary to implement the chosen strategy effectively. So when should you use it? The goal framework is ideal for strategic planning, project management, and business development. Any scenario where clear, goal-oriented action is required. It's particularly useful for teams and organizations looking to align on objectives and execute strategy with precision and accountability. And as always, the framework is here for you to use. So insert the goal you want to achieve, list all the possible ways to achieve said goal, evaluate each option, uh, give the AI a concrete plan of action. So if we were to go again, so example, you're an email agency or outbound email uh, company or any business that employs email marketing, the goal is to increase client engagement rates, improve email campaign conversions, options, personalize uh, email content for each recipient, segment email, email lists based on user behavior, A-B tests for different email subject lines and content, pros and cons, personalization, pro, increased relevance, potentially, as you can see, increased relevance, cons require in-depth data analysis, segmentation. So I'm not, an ex I'm not an expert in email marketing, but as you can see, this is just one that I got from one of our other people, one of my, our other uh, students that have an email marketing agency we use as a live, wa live walkthrough in class before. So as you can see, A-B testing, so action implement uh, personalized uh, personalization by utilizing existing customer data, develop a segmentation strategy based on user engagement and conduct regular A-B tests. So if we were to go and copy and paste this into ChatGPT, let's see what we would get. As you can see, look how in detail it goes. Really, really in detail, goes through all the pros and cons, various kind of lists, gives recommendations. And this is this is amazing if you are, this is, this is we just used email marketing as an example, but you can use it for any kind of uh, industry that you're in. I hope you enjoyed these frameworks please use them please learn uh, the basic of prompt engineering it will help you a lot when it comes to understanding how to use it for different tasks how to get ahead of the curve when it comes to this new and exciting space i hope you learned something from this if you did just let me know in the comments if you like this type of content i'll post some more if you want me to give you the prayer the actual templates just shoot me a message and i'll send it over to you and yeah with that being said see you later bye